Today's video is brought to you in part by Blink Home Security. Hey, what's going on fellow YouTubers, tech fans? Now I know that many of the people out there who work on computers and play around with computers, they know exactly what SLI and Crossfire is. And for those people out there, this video probably won't be that much use to you. But for those people out there who are still coming and new to computer stuff, I still get the question every day, what is SLI, what is Crossfire, why, when, how, is there a reason, why do I wanna do this and what the heck is it? So, okay. So let's just jump right in. SLI and Crossfire are pretty much the same exact type of technology. They're allowing you to take two cards of the same caliber, run them together, and when games are supported in it, they actually make performance a lot better. You can see usually between five and 15 frames per second, depending on what game and how the scaling goes. Really, the bottom line is it depends on the scaling. So is Crossfire or SLI, is it for you? Well, the first thing you want to do before you even consider going out and buying a second card and doing this is you need to take a look at the games that you play. If you're a big time Steam user and you use a lot of older games, chances are that many of the games that you're playing will be supported either by Crossfire or by SLI. Now, real quick, one thing I want to state is as far as the technology goes at this point, there are some cooler things about the Crossfire technology than SLI. SLI, for one thing, still requires a bridge. And even though NVIDIA has stepped up their game quite a bit and they have these really, really fast bridges, if you don't have the proper bridge, though, you're totally screwed. With an AMD Crossfire configuration, you don't have to worry about that whatsoever. Everything's done through the motherboard. There are no more cables, no more bridges, no more anything whatsoever. And I have to say that on the AMD side, that's a positive note for them. And I like that fact quite a bit. Now, the first thing that you wanna do, like I said though, is go take a look at all of the games that you play. Go look, find out if they are supported by Crossfire or SLI. Now. A lot of people ask, can I mix the cards up? Well, you cannot mix the cards up per se as like saying using a GTX 1070 with like a GTX 1080, like that's not gonna work. You're not gonna be able to use an RX 480 with an RX 460. I mean, I know there are some quick fixes out there that allow these type of things to do, but you're not going to get the proper and the best performance at all that you're going to get. Now, another question people always ask is, well, what about using more than two cards? Cause I see guys out there, they're building these systems with four cards, three cards. Well. Nvidia and AMD, if you know, trapped in a room with God and have to admit it, will tell you that anything beyond two cards is pretty much a waste of money. It's just show, 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 show. It's pretty much like having a V8 engine inside of a Volkswagen, inside of a parking lot that fits 10 cars. Like, there's just nothing you can do with it whatsoever. So make sure that you always have the matching cards. Now, does the brand matter, clock speeds? That doesn't really matter. Like I have two cards over here from two different manufacturers. These cards will work together great in Crossfire. Again, on this side, I have two of NVIDIA cards. These also will work together. So the manufacturer doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about if you have an MSI card, you know, if you wanna go buy a gigabyte card, will they work together? They will work together. Sometimes you can go inside of the BIOS and you can change all the clock and everything to match you can overclock them to match just be careful in the overclocking because i have found out when overclocking cards in sli or crossfire that's really when you start getting a lot of glitches technology is kind of already like pushed to the bleeding edge another thing stuttering, screen tearing, and all that stuff. They now have FreeSync and G-Sync technology. So if you get a monitor of that type of calendar, excuse me, that type of calendar, that type of caliber, you won't have to worry about that whatsoever. All those things are fixed with all that technology. So if you get a monitor that's G-Sync for these guys, obviously when you're in game, you're not gonna see any screen tear and you're not gonna see anything. All those problems are eliminated. The same thing on the AMD side of things. Now. If you want these cards though, and you play like a lot of like RPG games and stuff like that, the look down type of games, I haven't really seen too much of any grand performance on those type of games. But if you're type of playing, if you're, excuse me, if you're playing the type of games that are first person shooters, the new Skyrim's coming out. I hope to God they're gonna have a patch for that in both Crossfire and SLI. Cause in shit like that, when you're running all these major effects and all these major, you know, basically eye candy, beautiful, beautiful stuff, you wanna be able to do it and get that card. Now, 
Another question is always asked, and I just need to just you know reiterate this once again. If you can afford to buy the most baddest ass card because you've got the budget to do it, the absolute best performance that you can always get is going to be from a single card, the best card. So if you can get your hands on, you know, the Titan X or XP as people call it these days, and that's not the correct nomenclature, but if you can get a Pascal, you know, Titan X, obviously, if that's the card you can afford, you want to get that card by itself. But if you're not that kind of person and you find yourself in a situation where you're looking through everything, you're going, wow, man, I have one card and there's just all these games that I'm seeing are Crossfire and SLI supported. Yeah, you should probably definitely take a look at hopping on the bandwagon and getting yourself a second card. So I hope that answers any questions. If you guys have more questions, you guys can put them down below because I love to answer your guys' questions. Now, real quick before I bounce out of here though, I just wanna give another quick shout out to the people over at Blink for making my house a safe place. Even if you're not tech savvy, the Blink home security system is the easiest thing in the world to set up and get going. Believe me, anyone can do it. The Blink home security camera works in both the iOS and Android environment. It's a simple process of downloading, installing the app, and then connecting to your home Wi-Fi system. And after that, you're up and going. And since the Blink home security camera is wireless, they can be set up anywhere for you to monitor off your smart device. The app is also very user-friendly, and you can take pictures and do live viewing right from your phone. There's also the motion detection feature, and what this does is as soon as it senses movement, it starts recording, but what's best of all is you can set up the recording time to be as long or as short as you want it to be. Another feature that Blink offers is the ability for multiple family members to download and use the app at the same time, which means that everybody in your family can share that same convenience of knowing that your home is secure. If you're looking for the easiest and most ergonomic home security system you can get your hands on, the Blink security cameras start off at $99 and you can use up to 10 of them simultaneously for the ultimate in home security. All right, everybody. So I hope for those people out there who are new to the game that this sums up all your answers. Now you know what it is. You know what SLI is. You know what Crossfire is. It's basically two cards of the same caliber from the same type of company. And that's all you need to really know. If it supports your games and you play many, many older games, you may really find yourself in a situation where you want to crossfire or SLI your cards. If you're only playing the latest, greatest games and you only play that game one time through, then SLI crossfire might not be for you. That's all I'm saying. Like usual though, I'll have some links down below where we have some cool card combinations. If you're looking to do some pricey or budget type of SLIs, we'll have some information down below. I'm Elric, you guys have been watching Tech of the morning. I don't know if you guys can see back behind me, but uh, we now have our complete uh, VR system set up. So uh, I think I'll go and do some VR Ninja. See ya. Man, off we go.